All right, I apologize that I apologize for that. Camera cut off momentarily. Sometimes when you film too many videos in such a short period, they do have a tendency to um fill up the phone. So sometimes I have to play with it or reset it. Now, coming in at number seven was a woman by the name of Mary Anderson that was born in the 1800s. And like most people, she always tried to figure out in her head um, how come there were so many car accidents. Now, we have cars today like we had cars back then. A lot of cars and a lot of trucks that were going, you know, back and forth in different directions, um, they would have accidents. And one day she came up with an idea to create a window wiper cleaner that would not only just clean the water off your windshield when it started raining, but to also clean it so you could see clear when you drive. Now, her invention wouldn't get put to the test until like maybe five or six years later. See, in the beginning, they were kind of intimidated by a woman, that the idea that a woman was very intelligent and that she was good with math and science. Now, she graduated from high school and college, and then she eventually got a job, and then people told her, your invention's not going to work, and guess what? She proved the critics wrong because if you fast forward to today... Her invention has been updated. Like through all the years, she had her own company. She eventually went from making one invention to recreating that invention. So she actually has two inventions. And then as time had evolved, so did her invention. Every car, every truck has her invention on it. So when it rains and you turn on the window wiper, the cleaner, the cleans your car, she created that. And it's been around the world <laughs> acclaims and she achieved fame and fortune like never before. And then they started putting her in, you know, movies, television shows back then. You know, there's pictures of her. And eventually she got so good with her invention that she would be put in the newspaper. They would talk about her in the radio. And then it, it wouldn't be until long after she passed away that they finally started to acknowledge the fact that women don't just cook and clean. That if a woman actually used her intelligence like she did, that it's that history is possible that a woman can actually invent something and it could be beneficial to the whole world. She saved thousands and thousands and thousands of lives because of her fast intelligence to say to stop the car accidents and the trucks from tipping over when it rains have a window wiper cleaner system that will clean your windshield so that way when you drive on the road, you can drive much safer and much clearer. So a woman came up with that invention. So in history, there's a lot of men that have created inventions, but there are women also who came in history and made their mark. And this woman made a mark. She's in the history books. And you, you fast forward today and you talk about the world's greatest inventors. Her name is like, if not at the top, close to the top. Now on this list, she should be rated much higher, but she's known for that. And she made that in the 1800s. She did something that nobody thought of. Like, yes, yeah, someone else invented a car, but she added something to what was already there. And it saved people's lives, cars, trucks. Now you see today that it's it's a little bit more safer back then. It was not that very good, but she she changed something in history that would be a good thing to this very day. Coming in at number six is Louis um, Linneman. Now, he was born in the 1800s himself, and he was a guy who already was a scientist, and he had made like at least four different inventions, but he had one invention that changed the whole entire world globally. Now, it's kind of sad that they don't give him the respect and the credit that he deserved because back then they didn't think us black men were smart like that. He invented the light bulb. You always hear stories about who created electricity, who who created the ability to turn your light on in your house so you wouldn't be walking and running into walls or you wouldn't fall down the stairs and stuff like that. And this guy came up with an idea and said, they always say, turn the light on or think with a light bulb, right? 
So that's how we got the light bulb. It started with a catchphrase. It started with a metaphor. And he graduated from college and then he got a, a partner. And these two guys sat in the room all day, like why everyone was going to the parks and to the beach and out to the clubs and having fun. He would sit in there days trying to figure out how to create something that was never created. And he did it, the light bulb. And his invention was so acclaimed, it got used for everything. Lights in your car, lights in the truck, lights in the motorcycle, lights in your garage. When you go in the kitchen, there's lights. You put lights in your refrigerator. It, it would get used for everything. You see our cell phone, right? Our cell phone has a light, a light bulb or a flashlight. So he went from making a, a light bulb to in eventually creating the flashlight. Because it was like, if you could do the light bulb, you can create the flashlight. He made a, like a lease, if not four, three inventions, if not four. But that one became worldwide acclaimed. And it's just unfortunate because it wouldn't be until almost a hundred years later that the that it would come out that he created it. You know, because at that time, there were only two companies that had the abilities to create light bulbs. We know one of them because they're still around today, and that's Thomas Edison. If you ever took a film class, he created the first ever camera. That's another person that's also famous and worldwide acclaim that came around the same time. He could not make his camera work without a light bulb and that's where this guy came in now people will say they're two different individuals and they are now in part two we will eventually touch on the guy who created the first camera for filmmaking but this guy made lights easy it, be it became easier to film movies and television shows because you couldn't always go outside when it was dark so the light bulb and then if you look years later in television and film, there's a called lighting director. So if you think about it, his job created a job years later, much, much years later, him making a light bulb. Who would ever thought you, if you became a light director and television and film, he gave birth to jobs in that particular field. The electricity, electricity got a job because of it. So he took an invention that would eventually create jobs much years later. So you got to give this man some respect and credit and be proud to know that somebody went through all the trouble to make it better for people like me and you. All right. Coming in at number five is Shirley Ann Jackson. Now, she's a black woman that's well accomplished. Um, she became the first African-American woman to have a doctorate in the, at the Institute of Technology in Massachusetts. Now, she basically is well versed in a whole bunch of applications. I mean, I'm not going to go into the video of it because there's so many of them. It would take up the whole video and I would never get to the list. So maybe in a future YouTube video, I would be able to break down all of her accomplishments. I mean, she became the first one to get a doctorate. She was the first person to do it at a college. And she was the first person to get a job with her doctoring, and she became a scientist. And then she used that doctoring to create or come up with blueprints that we're using today. So like a lot of the medical procedures you see at the doctor and the dentist, they would get used years later because she would be the one that would come up with these ideas on what you could do for medical practice. And that was just only the start of what she was doing. There were other things that she were doing prior to it. And same thing with her. It wouldn't be until almost a hundred years later that she would get her respect and her credit for doing it. There's plenty of books about her in the library. And eventually some of those ideas have been used at hospitals, doctors. Um, she became a physicist and that got used for sports medicine. So a lot of this, anything that has something to do with medical in it, some of those practices, she invented them. And it, they're, they're being used in different forms of practice every day. You know, you could say business, medical, sports. They're there because she invented them and they would not be used if she didn't invent them. All right, coming in at number four, and this is someone we all know very well. Some of y'all feel like he should be higher on the list, maybe in the future video. That will be Mark Zackenberg, the person who created Facebook. Now, in the beginning when he was in high school and then when he graduated from college, when he was in college, 
he did something that had already been done, right? There was a guy named Tom who did what? He invented MySpace, right? We were all on MySpace when we were kids. But Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook. Facebook is now used for everything. Facebook is used to find friends from high school and college 10, 15, 20 years later. It's being used for you to reconnect with people from the past. You can post pictures. You can post videos. You could post a timeline. You could show your pictures from the time you were in junior high, high school and college to when you met your first wife, you got married to when you got your first child, your second and third child. Facebook's used at work, at school. People go on, we go on the cell phone. Facebook's used for everything. And the way he made the internet, he gave birth to something that we're now using in technology, right? Sometimes when you go to work, people create a Facebook ad, right? So now you can make commercial ads with Facebook. You can now do stuff on the internet that you couldn't do from 15, 20 years ago. And then all of a sudden, Google came. All of a sudden, YouTube came. But it all started with Facebook. You know, he made the Internet age even better than what it is. He became, excuse me, he became one of those visionaries that he could he could do it. He created his own software system. Then he created his own website and then he became the founder, the chairman. And then Facebook became global because in every country it's being used in almost every country, every city and state, every country now has Facebook. Whenever the police or the FBI need trouble finding someone, what do they turn to? Social media, what do they go to? Facebook. You know, somebody's doing something wrong. We know because why? It's on Facebook. And he made that possible. You know, back then, you know, it would be hard to find out what goes on in the world. He just made it a better place by using Facebook. Now, say what you want. Some some people like Mark Zuckerberg. Some people hate Mark Zuckerberg. Some people like him because he created Facebook. Yeah, there's the movie. There's his life story. There's books. There's the controversial to it. You know, there's that whole controversial thing. But we're talking about his accomplishments. We're talking about his contributions and what he did. He opened the blueprints to show you that if I can create a website... And make it global for everyone to use at work and at school. You can invent something and it could be critically acclaimed. And that's how he got his rise to fame and fortune. And of course, the youngest multi-billionaire in history. So <laughs> there you go. That's why he's on this list. Coming in at number three is a black woman by the name of Maria. They gave her a nickname. It's Maria Van Brittany Brown, and she invented the first ever home homeland security system. If you if you think about it today, right? Just today, we got security systems everywhere, right? But she, at one point in history, used to always wonder, what happens if you can't get the police to come to your house? What happens if you can't get a security guard? What happens if someone breaks into your house and steals your stuff, right? And she used to think about this stuff constantly. And finally, somewhere in the late 70s, somewhere in the late 60s, mid 70s, the idea took off. The idea that, yeah, I, I need something to let me know if someone's trying to break into my house and trespass in the area. And she created the system and it saved a lot of trouble for the police and it saved a lot of lives. Like her contribution to this very day, you look on TV, light, life alert, lock, life lockup, all these security systems would have never came if it wasn't for her saying, hey, I got an idea. Why don't we create the first ever homeland security system? Now, they have different versions of it, but that was her best invention. Had her own company, made thousands of dollars, became critically famous, wrote a book, and life was never the same after that. And you could tell to this very day, people use that system to make sure no one breaks in their house. She did. She she did it. She put the work in and it paid off. And later she would eventually have another invention, but we'll have to save that for another video. Coming in at number two is code founder of Apple and is the legendary late great Steve Jobs. 
Now, this man is so well accomplished that this guy worked at Pickstars. You've heard of it. This guy created all the cell phones, you know, all the bottles. Every time you buy an Apple Mac, an Apple computer on your cell phone, laptop, he created it. He took the idea that you could make technology better, advance it, take it to the next, next level. Don't stop at one thing. Create as many things as you want and make it safer and make it lighter. People want the product good. They don't want to wait five years for it to be good. They want it to be good now. And that was his whole thing. How can I create something better for you to use when you need it available? Whether you're at work, at school, at the gym, whatever you need. Steve Jobs would do it. And we know that it that he would work tirelessly. Like people would go party. This guy would be up at one, two o'clock in the morning, giving you the best technology that money could buy. It made him rich and famous. It made him billions of dollars. You know, it made him a multi-billionaire. First he was a millionaire, then a billionaire. Then he was with Apple. Then he got fired. Then he got bought back. And then he created better technology. And then he surpassed a lot of the people. A lot of the guys that he was working with in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, a lot of them became jealous and envious of his success because he just kept evolving, kept evolving, kept going, wouldn't stop until he found something that he was satisfied with. And he left this big mark in history that a lot of people have been touched by, that the impression is, if he can do it, I can do it. Like this guy, had he lived, had he, had he, not, had he not passed away there's no telling what Steve Jobs probably would have done. Like, like whatever he was going to create, eventually someone's going to create it because eventually he was going to get to it. Like whatever idea that he had, he was going to keep going and keep going and keep going. Like he really was going to do it. Now for the number one person on my list. Now, if you're a black woman, a white woman, a Latina woman, or an Asian woman, you have to marvel this woman because this woman done something that is being used as of right now. Every time you go to a Red Lobster, an Olive Garden, every time you go to a restaurant, there is this one machine that is there before you can get your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that is called the legendary dishwasher machine. Her name is Josephine Cook Covina. Sorry if I per, um, mispronounced her last name. Now, she was born in the 1800s and she kind of was like a, a housewife or a housemate or whatever. And she kind of got tired of washing dishes like me and you. And she kind of came up with this idea from out of nowhere. And she wondered how come anyone creates a machine that would wash the spoons, the forks and the pl and the spoons and the plates so that way it makes washing and cleaning much more easier. Now at first people laughed at her, made fun of her, told her her invention would never work, and for almost 10 years she would keep on working at it and finally one day it became a reality. They put it in all the restaurants and it say it didn't just help the restaurant industry it saved the restaurant industry. It took it to the next, next level. Every restaurant has not one, but two dishwasher machines. She invented the dishwasher machine and then it helped her get a critical acclaim fame. All of a sudden, they had to put her in small parts in movies and television shows, the newspaper, radio, and she had her own company. And then as time evolved, she would keep making new modifications and new blueprints to make better versions of her invention. And this made her a lot of money. And to me, she's number one because there are people who have made car invented cars, planes, trucks, motorcycles. But when you talk about something that gets used in everyday life that is that is essential to us, it's a dishwasher machine. So this is why she gets picked at number one. And this is only part one of the video. Part two will be me talking about more inventors. We'll get into who invented video games. We'll get into who invented computers. We will get to that. Part one, I want to see if it's going to get a good critical reception. If you women and men like the video, we'll make a part two. And you know how I do. If part one is real good, 
I make part two. Part two is real good. I make a part three. If the video doesn't get a good critical reception, there won't be no part two and part three. So it's it's all up to you women and men if you decide if you want me to give you this new content to pump out new and better content. This was my producer's idea to go with this video first. The next one will be about television, film studios, and... The best television and film studios. That's a new episode. That's a new video as well. I want to see how this do. Until next time, peace.